everyone, Dave Landry here. I'm getting a few requests through emails and through LinkedIn emails to explain what's going on in the markets as I see it. Check out my column today on my website if you get a chance. But I wanted to make a short video. Tomorrow I'm going to flesh all this out in a lot more detail in Dave Landry's The Week in Charts. You can go right here on my website at DaveLandry.com to sign up for that. The show is free. It's about an hour and change, and you could ask any questions you want. And I'm going to, again, flesh all this out in a lot more detail. For those of you who are busy saving lives, repairing automatic transmissions, and doing other great things, I thought I'd make a quick video and to answer those emails, of course. Uh, first of all, S&P 500, a lot of overhead supply, nothing fancy about this type of technical analysis. All it means is that a lot of people have likely bought during this range, and anyone who bought during this range, once the market drops below it, will be looking to get out at break even so it's gonna be hard for the market to get back through this now this becomes more important the longer you stay below it and the further you stay below it. this is the first time this year anyone has called me such as friends and family to talk about the markets people are concerned about me trust me i'm fine not a problem when the market starts going sideways like this and get a little choppy we don't get new setups and it also slowly and methodically and sometimes systematically seems to take us out of existing positions so everything is cool also as a trend follower we're willing to go short. Now, with that said, speaking of shorts, market a little bit of a bounce today. Today is Wednesday. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see a little bit more retrace up and even test this range in here. Now, what the questions are coming in are on these transitional setups, such as a bow tie. When you get a bow tie down, that just means a 10 period simple, a 20 period exponential, 30% exponential moving average cross over and begin to spread out in the other direction, it can signal the direction of the trend. This is especially true when you're coming off of all-time highs. And if you take a look at like a two-day chart, a three-day chart, and even a four-day chart, they're beginning to cross over. Now, your trend change signal is the crossing of the moving average, and then you wait for a pullback before you get short. Now, you don't have to wait for the moving averages because it will have a little lag to them. So technically today, after this big thrust down we've had, the market is now set up as what I call a first thrust thrust short easy for me to say i'll make some separate videos on those anyway so sp 500 on a longer term time frame let's go back to a longer term chart such as a weekly chart these are five trading bars notice that the moving averages are coming together so first little bounce in here on a weekly basis would suggest a shorting opportunity now what's interesting and cool about that is we had a trigger in 2000 we had one up in 2003 we had one down in late 2007, early 2008, and then we had one in 2009. This one was a little bit late to the party, but still the market went up 100% nonetheless. So better than a poke in the eye. In a case like 2009, we get a sharp reversal. You want to look for daily signals before waiting around for weekly signals. And in fact, now might be that kind of time too. But what I wanted to point out is, as a general statement, these moving averages can't help to keep you on the right side of the market. Also, something that I've noticed in more recent times, just the slope of the 50-week moving average, which I have just plotted for you here. Notice we had a positive slope pretty much all the way through the 90s, and then we had a negative slope through 2000, 2003. And again, a positive slope, negative slope, positive slope. And if you zoom really close in, you can see that this slope is turning negative and the S&P. So just following the slope over the last 20, 30, 40 years would have kept you on the right side of the market. So that's another important metric to pay attention to. Anyway, I'm going to flesh all this out in a lot more detail in tomorrow's chart show. I just want to make a quick video, explain a few things to you guys and girls uh, who don't have time to sit through the chart show. But I will record a chart show, so look for it tomorrow night on YouTube. Any questions, Dave at DaveLandry.com. Best of luck with your trading today.